Today we're gonna discuss two ways to create the inception style look in Photoshop. Hey there, my name is Ali and today we're gonna bend some photos. Let's start with the first one. The first thing when you add your photo, make sure it's on a layer, it's not background. If it's locked, make sure you unlock it first. Then this is the first way, you press Ctrl J. Now we have two duplicates. You press Ctrl T. You rotate the image to any side you want, depending on which one you want, and then you flip it horizontal. So now, it's gonna be somewhere here. Okay. <clears throat> then you take the last tool. Make sure you're standing on the corner, click, hold shift, so you go in a 45 degree angle, and just make a triangle selection like that, and add layer mask. Okay, now we have the opposite of what we want, so I'm just gonna press Ctrl and I, so now I have exactly what I want, like the bent side of the image. You see the before and the after. Okay, now... Let's make this image a little bit more interesting. I'll go to the man, to the first layer. I'll go to hue and saturation. Take my blues. Make sure it's linked below. And change them to yellow or orange. And let's also take the cyan. So now it's only blue. If I stand here and pull this one, I'm also targeting the cyan. So I target the whole jacket. Let's go for that color. But now if you see, it targeted the whole photo. So I'm gonna press Ctrl I, now I remove the layer mask by painting black, then I'm gonna take a brush, using a white color, I'll make it smaller, and I'll just paint using white over the man's jacket, like that, so now his jacket is yellow, the background is blue, so now the man has more contrast and is more eye-catchy. Okay, let's try to color grade this one a little bit fast. I'm gonna go to Curves Adjustment Layer. I'm gonna pull the shadows up. Pull the, the, like the dark points a little bit down. Pull this one also a little bit down, something like that. Then I'm gonna go to the blue channel. Let's try playing with different colors. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and some blue. Blue in the shadows, yellow in the highlights. Then I'm gonna go to the red channel. Uh, let's try some cyan in the shadows and in the green channel I'm gonna add some magenta to the shadows So now what we did was this was the before this was the after making the photo a little bit more moody Okay, let's jump to the second way to bend our photos you go make sure it's unlinked first You go to image uh, sorry edit uh, Perspective warp this is only available in the new versions of Photoshop Okay, you draw your first grid, let's say something like that, or something like that, and then you draw your second grid, and make sure you they get that blue line, that they are going to be linked together. Then you move to the warp tool. Then you hold this point, hold control, move it down, control or command, and then you hold also the point down, move it down, and enter. We have a problem with that area, you can either like enlarge your photo to cover it or in this case I'll just use a brush, I'll sample this color and I'm just gonna paint this part because here the like the photo is the sky sorry is like completely on one, one color, it doesn't have like details okay this is a way, you can also enhance it by using the burn tool and wherever the line meets you can just like burn let me make it bigger. Yeah, you can burn like the whole photo wherever the line meets. So you emphasize more on that line where the things like change. Because when something bend in real life, the lightning here is gonna be different from the lightning there. So it should have one should be darker, one should be brighter. You can also use like your last tool if you want, but it's gonna be sharp. You can go to image adjustments, brightness contrast, and just reduce the brightness a little bit. So now we have like a sharp line. You can also feather it if you don't want it sharp. Okay. Another thing you could do with the perspective warp tool I'm going to show you. Unlink it first. Image. Edit. Sorry. Perspective warp. 
Okay, I'm gonna draw my first grid, something like that. But then I'm gonna change this grid actually to match the perspective. So I'm gonna take that point, I'm gonna put it here. And that point, I'm gonna put it somewhere there. Okay, then I'm gonna draw the other one and link it. You see it automatically linked to that one. Make sure it's adjusted. <coughs> then go to warp. Move this one down. And also move that one down, something like that. Move this one down, then OK. I'll press Ctrl T. Make it a little bit bigger, especially from that side. Yeah, something like that. Even more. OK, I'll show you how to fix the sky now. You use the magic wand. You click on the empty area. You press Shift and F5. This will open the fill layer. You can also find it in Edit, Fill. Then you choose the content aware and you press OK. This will automatically try to fix the hidden, like the missing pixels here. You see it made it, but it has like some sort of a line. So I'm just going to take the clone stamp tool, hold alt, click from here, press a click here, hold shift, press click here. So now I drew a straight line of a clone stamp here. Okay, I have, I believe, a little bit of white line at the top, so I'm just... No, I don't have it, actually. It's just because Photoshop. Okay, we can also take now the burn tool. Make this side a little bit, like, darker. I'll show you the other way. Let's say we made a brightness contrast layer. We darken everything. We press Ctrl-I. Then we draw with the lasso tool. Selection like that. And then we paint white using alt backspace. Uh, yeah, so now it's the darkness is applied. But this is very sharp. I don't want that sharp edge. So I can just go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, increase the radius. It's a little bit slow because I'm recording. You see when I increase the radius, something like that. So now it's no longer a sharp edge. So now we have like the some sort of like the bending on the on the darker. Okay, let's try color grading it. Let's try playing around with the values. Let's say we're using curves. I don't know if this will work. Actually, it's pretty dark photo. Uh, I don't like it. I actually like it this way more. We can actually try gradient map. It's a sunset photo, so we can use this one. And we can change the blending mode to soft light and reduce the opacity. So this is the before and this is the after, adding some color to the photo. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.